Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to detect an unknown device. Now, I'm going to show you probably two or three different methods to actually detect unknown devices. Now, where they sort of reside is in your device manager. So, if you come to Start and My Computer and right click on it and go Properties, and this will open up the system properties, then you need to go Hardware and then Device Manager. Now, this is where your devices will be unknown now you may have a big yellow exclamation mark there or something or a question mark and it will say unknown device and now you don't know what to do because obviously you try and right click on it and update and it won't because obviously you don't know it doesn't windows can't detect what it is so i'm going to show you a couple of methods on how to get this rectified and get you up and running okay so the first thing I would suggest because I haven't got no unknown devices to show you but the first thing I'll suggest is you come to this website and it's called uh, www.zhangduo.com by the looks of it okay and it's forward slash udi.html and you can actually download a program okay unknown device identifier and this is the program here and basically this will un, uh, try to detect an unknown device so let's uh, fire the old program up there so we can actually see what it's what it's got and it's you'll see it on the actual desktop it's got like a little circuit board there so we're going to click on that i've already installed it it's pretty easy to do so as you can see now if we had a big is an unknown device here and basically you, you go through and you're, you're looking for an unknown device on your system so for instance if this was an unknown device and it didn't know what it was you could right click and find the driver and it will connect up to the internet and try to find the driver for it also you can contact the vendor okay and and things like that so that's the first method I would try okay um, and you can also detect now you see this little button here where you come up here you get onto the, the actual program itself and you go detect now like so and it will tell you what that is okay and it will try and find it and try to find that driver or we'll try to tell you what it is so you can actually download the driver so it's identified the unknown uh, question mark there so that's the first method I would use okay now sometimes this isn't always uh, successful but you know that's one method and it's always good to have that in your uh, on your a USB pen or something like that and the next method I would use, just close this off. Next method I would use is come to my, uh, I'd go to my computer and then I've got a CD in my CD drive. Okay, I'm going to explore that and show you what I've got in there. I've got a driver's CD with loads of drivers in it. Now I've got loads of other drivers, but this is just one of them okay now for instance if it if I didn't know what it was I would just right click I'd actually go to my computer right click come to hardware device manager like so and then I would actually go to the part that needed the driver say for instance it was this one here I'd right click and update driver okay it would then give me the box to come to update driver I'd go no, not this time, go next, I'd go into advanced, go next, I'd then search the CD-ROM drive, make sure you search CD-ROM, go next and it will search the CD-ROM or the CD for a driver of that unknown device. Now if there's a driver on there and it, it recognises it, all of a sudden it'll install and that's your problem solved. So I always keep a ton of these CDs with thousands of actual drivers on them as you can well see I've got land drivers here and uh, if I come in there you'll see loads and loads and loads of drivers different types in different folders okay as you can see that's just one lot it's a DVD full of them okay and there's every type of driver in there old drivers new drivers and whatnot okay so I'm not gonna go through it because there's loads on there but that's that's the another method that I would use and another method I would use okay 
is the PCI database.com. Come to this website, PCI www.pcidatabase.com. Okay, now we've got a search bar here for vendor search and device search. So, how do we go about searching for them items that we don't know what it is? Well, again, you'd need to come to my computer, right click properties, and then come into hardware, then device. Okay. And then once you're in here, I can then search. Now, say for argument, say I'm going to search for this driver here. I know what it is, obviously, because I can see it, and there's there's no question mark there. But what I'm going to show you is what you would do if it was a yellow question mark. You right click, okay, go properties, and then go into details, okay, then straight down to hardware. You see hardware click that. Now what we're looking for is VEN which is short for vendor and and DEV is short for device so if I put vendor in there which will be 1969 and 1048 okay so close them off 1969 and 1048 that's what it was like so search for the vendor and there we have it that's the manufacturer of that card come back was it 1049 was it yeah it was I think there you go so there we go there we have a 1049 Just check. Just going to check on that to make sure that was 1049. I'm pretty sure it was. I'm only showing you the wrong thing. But basically, yep, yeah, that's how you uh, just bring that down to there. Yeah, gigabyte, okay. Details. So there you go. You have to go straight to hardware at 1048. So we need to put in there 1048, not 1049, because it will give you the wrong device. So we need 1048, like so, and then do a search. And that should give us our gigabyte, okay? Now, obviously, you remember the other one was vendor ID. The other vendor ID was 1969. So there we can cross-reference now. We have 1969, and we have 1048, and it's a gigabyte Ethernet. 10100 1000 base dash T controller. So now we know what it is, we can actually download the driver and away we go. We've got our internet back up and running. Okay, so that's basically it, and that will give you all the details there. Okay, gives you the website as well, which is pretty handy. Now remember, this website is basically a database which people actually submit to. So remember, there might not be every single. Um, there might not be every single uh, re reference to it, but as you can see, uh, you can actually update this information. Okay, so the more people update it, the more bigger the actual device, uh, the database is going to become, and eventually it should be so big that there'll be virtually no problems, no problems in identifying your cards. So the last one is the same sort of thing really, and this is uh, PCISig.com. And it's a basically the same thing, vendor ID, um, and your product type, and you pick your product type, okay? But obviously, this is a, a just another approach for it, but you don't need to use this one if you don't want to. You could use the other one, depending on which one you want to have a little look at. Um, but there you go, that's how you identify your, your actual unknown devices. So I hope this video helps you out. I'm giving away all you my, my little secrets now. <laughs> okay, so... If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, got any questions, send us an email and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Got any, uh, want to put a comment up there for the videos, good or bad, stick them up there and I'll try and reply to them. All right, thanks very much for watching these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I'll be making some more tutorials like this in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.